Okay, we're going to bring in Newsmax host Tom Basile right now. Tom, I want to ask you, what do you think Joe Biden should be doing right now, the United States government, to make sure this doesn't erupt into something larger? Well, look, uh, the first thing that the U.S. government is doing, and they announced it today, they will be sending more uh, U.S. Uh, military uh, uh, assets over to the Middle East. It is believed that those are of more of a defensive nature to help protect our interests, to help protect our troops and our installations over there at this point. We have a lot of offensive capability already in the region. It's not being used effectively. But if you were talking about uh, what Biden should be doing, he's there, there has been there have been two Joe Bidens when it comes to this war. Exactly. Uh, the one who is is running for president and saying what he needs to say from a political standpoint, and the one who is trying to stand by our our ally Israel. And they've got us. The administration has to stop sending mixed messages. Mm -hmm. He's got to say if you attack, if Iran attacks from from Iranian soil, if we see a large scale attack on Israel, the United States will be part of. A a response that will that will uh, that will counter that and mm -hmm. uh, and so you know trying to get this White House to be definitive on those types of things and to sound strong has always been a challenge some might say that that's one of the reasons why we're in this mess to begin with great point there according to Axios Iran has already warned the United States not to get involved or American troops could be attacked. Um, how seriously do you take that, and what should this administration be doing? Look, the Iranians also know here that while while President Biden uh, is 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 weak politically, they know that the United States uh, and Israel both have far superior and far more advanced military capabilities and technology. So the Iranians are talking about well, they've got a couple of new missiles here and there. They might be getting some 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 technology from. Uh, from China or from Russia, but the the Israelis have far superior technology to be able to identify targets of strategic importance and hit them. Uh, so they they saber rattle a lot. They're going to be very very concerned about a U.S. involvement of any kind. Just so we're clear, could Joe Biden make a phone call to the Ayatollah to Iran and say, "You're not going to escalate this"? Does he have that power? I mean, he, he certainly could. I, you know, he certainly could do that. I think that the public, the, the, the problem is not necessarily what he's saying in private. I think the problem is what he says in public yeah. uh, about these things. And, uh, and there needs to be clarity from this administration that if, if Iran escalates this even further, that the United States will use those assets in the Middle East to, to respond. Tom Basile, appreciate it. Thank you. Always great having you, Tom. All right.